could have been me. He can say to his hand up back there, he's been in the hospital this week, but God has brought him out victorious. Amen. Amen. Pray walk the heart and say, could have been me out there. No food, no clothes. Just the law without a friend. You can catch me and get my just another time with a tragedy. And it will see me at none of these things be. Every day by this time. I wish I had somebody to just come over and say, thank you, Lord. Garment. And the 
and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare him. And the boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. That's deer. But Rebecca loved Jacob. And Jacob saw a pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do for, to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Last verse 34. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. I want to tag this text deception versus destiny. Deception versus destiny. Father, help us right now. The words of our mouth, the meditations of our heart be accepted for the night side of God, our strength, our redeemer, sin and anointed that makes this thing real easy to do today. Bless your people now through your word. They didn't come to hear from me, they came to receive from you. Now touch us again. In Jesus' name, amen. Deception versus destiny. Uh, Deception, my brothers and sisters, is the act or state of deceiving or of the state of being deceived. The dictionary says uh, to deceive is to mislead by false appearance or statement. Let me make it plain. Some of y'all don't lie, but some of y'all deceive. Y'all ain't going to be real with me. Well, look, I should have said some folk, yeah, yeah. not some of y'all. I'm talking about your cousin them, you know. Right. Some folk lie, or some folk don't necessarily lie, but they are very deceitful. Here we see twins born to Isaac and Rebekah. The first one comes out red and hairy and was named Esau. The second one uh, comes out afterwards, and his hand was holding his brother's heel. And they named him Jacob, which means deceiver. Somebody say deceiver. deceiver. These boys were fighting in their mother's womb. Lord have mercy, I'm going to say that again. These twins were fighting in their mother's womb. Bible says the boys grew up and Esau became a hunter and Jacob was a plain man, sort of kind of like an introvert. And he liked staying at home probably. He was probably a mama's boy. Yeah, the Bible says that Isaac loved Esau because he would eat his venison. That's deer meat, it's deer meat. Uh, I've got a brother-in-law that likes to hunt and uh, uh, my sister made some chili one time out of deer meat and asked me to taste it. I said, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. I guess if we could eat cows and pigs, we'd eat deer too. Yes. Uh, I like pork chops and KYs. I can't wait to Thanksgiving now. Speaking of KY, uh, pork chops and bacon and sausage. Some folk eat pig ears and pig feet. Eddie looking like I can't wait to get home. I'm gonna get you some. <laughs> pig 
years. I remember one time years ago, my mother had a piece of meat falling out on the counter and she told me it was a cow's tongue. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy, cow's tongue. I guess I ate it, I don't know if I did or not. Uh, some things, uh, you know, you can't get me to eat today. Years ago, I didn't like cabbage and greens and green beans and stuff like that, but I eat it today, but still don't give me any Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts, amen, somebody. But, uh, but, 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 but Esau uh, uh, would eat uh, his daddy's deer meat, amen. But Rebecca, she loved Jacob. And so one day after Esau came in from the field, as you read in the uh, Bible and the text today, uh, he was faint and his brothers had uh, pot cooking. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray. Uh, with that uh, red pottage, I am fainting. I need something to eat. I need me some good hot soup. I need something that's going to build uh, my strength. And so Jacob uh, said, sell me now your birthright. Esau said, man, I'm about to die. And uh, what is going to profit? Uh, what are you going to get out of this? I mean, uh, what's this going to do for me? I'm, uh, I'm almost out of here. Amen. So Jacob said, swear to me this day, as you read in the text, and he swore to him uh, and sold his birthright to Jacob. In verse 34, Esau despises and denounces his birthright. Esau was deceived by his brother into thinking he needed his immediate desires met at that point, amen, rather than his future destiny fulfilled. Look at somebody and say for me, uh, you can't rush what God has for you. Uh, what he has for you is yours, and what he has for your neighbor belongs to your neighbor. I'm not trying to buy nobody's birthright. Amen. I want what God has for me because what God has for me is for me. And so uh, the devil has deceived many the same way, taking short-term pleasure in exchange for missing your destiny. A lot of times, as I told him Thursday night, we want to help God out. And when you help God out, you delay your destiny. Amen. God just sits back and says, since you want to have it, let me let you have it. Amen. But uh, my promises are still yea and amen. It's still good. When you want to get yourself out of the way and out of the picture, quit trying to handle things for me and let me handle it for you. Amen. Then I will release your next blessing and your next season. Come on, talk to me, somebody. I got some stuff with your name on it, but you keep trying to rush things. Amen. When God said, just wait a little while longer. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's almost like a kid at Christmas Eve. I can't wait to open my gifts, open my toys. God said, just wait a little while longer because what I have promised will come to pass. And, and so Satan will always send someone along to deal with you about your destiny. If you have an immediate desire or an immediate need, Satan will try to deceive you into giving up your inheritance so the immediate need can be fulfilled. Uh, uh, lean on a neighbor and say, delay is not denial. If God said it, it's time to pass. You, you don't have to steal your brother's uh, birthright. You don't have to uh, be competing with anybody in the house of God. You don't have to be jealous or envious and, and all that kind of stuff. If somebody else got a gift, you don't have to worry about what that gift is. God's got one for you. I wish I had some. Everybody in here has a purpose in life. And, and and you just have to tap in because the enemy will try to make you think you're nothing and you're not viable and everybody else is getting ahead and you're not getting ahead. But I just rose to tell somebody today, do not allow the devil to deceive you. I, I wish I could preach up in here. Uh, I just need about 18 of y'all to say I am somebody. I don't care what nobody said. And this ain't no braggadocious thing. My soul is boasting in the Lord because God brought me up out of a horrible pit and established my corner. You think I'm going to sit here and walk around with my head all down in the valley all the time thinking I ain't nobody and everybody's getting ahead and I ain't getting ahead. God's got a time and a day and a season for me. Amen. I don't care what mistakes I've made. I don't, think, I don't care how many failures I've made. Amen. God has a time and a season for everybody up in here. I believe that if you just uh, give God a praise right now, he just might do something before you leave. This house. I wish I had a witness. Amen. Don't allow the enemy 
to make you think I have to have something right now and then you rushing stuff and helping God out and it's not what God wanted for your life. The word of God lets us know in Jeremiah 17, 9 that the heart is very deceitful above all things and your heart, your heart, black heart, white heart, all of our hearts, all of our hearts are the same color by the way. Amen. Amen. Everybody up in here, our hearts are desperately wicked and who can know it? Amen. That's the reason we got to watch what we allow in our minds and in our hearts because the stuff in our hearts will go to our head and our mouths will speak it out, y'all. And it will show also in our actions. Amen, somebody. You say you love me, but you treat me different. Y'all ain't talking to me. You, you, you say you love everybody, but you don't even smile at everybody. You, you don't even shake the hand. You go on this side of the church to keep from coming in contact with them on this side of the church. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me up in here. Uh, because our hearts are desperately wicked. And who can know it? Who can know it? Anybody in here ever uh, re discovered that there's some stuff down in my heart that I didn't really know was there? Y'all too sanctified for me. I'm going to ask two or three people over here. Is there anybody in here that discovered there was some stuff down in your heart that you did not know was there? Amen. And when you found out it was desperately wicked, you said, Lord, I need you to help me because I don't want to feel that way about that sister. I don't want to feel that way about that brother. God, you told us about this shalom and know where your disciples, if we have, love one to another. Do I have a witness up in here that knows there's some stuff down here sometime that can't nobody do nothing with but God. Y'all ain't gonna be real with me up in here today. Now listen to me. Don't negotiate with the devil. Don't negotiate. Tell your neighbor, don't negotiate with the devil. Don't, don't give him an inch. Don't give him no time. Don't give him none of your mind. And don't be deceived like Esau. Instant gratification is not more important than you reaching your ultimate destination. Y'all need to tweet that to somebody. But God's got something for you and you got a destiny coming. Hey, Amen. And don't try to rush it because it looks like so and so's getting ahead and they having babies and they getting titles and they getting promoted and, and they starting businesses. God has got your time already marked out for you. Do I have a witness here? You don't have to cut no bad business deals just to make no money. Y'all ain't gonna be real with me. You ain't got to sleep with no man to try to lure him in to be your husband because if you sleep with him, he's already took care of business and he ain't thinking about you and when it's time to get married, he's gonna marry somebody. Y'all ain't gonna... I wish I had a witness up in here. And so here, my brothers and sisters, the plan of the seat was designed, watch this, by the mother, Rebecca. Uh, I'm going to say it again. The plan of the seat was designed by sister girl, Rebecca. Mama, mama. Say, somebody say mama did it. Mama did it. You got to be careful how you treat your babies. You can't just be all lovey-dovey with one when the other one come in and you get a frown on your face. You might not think the children notice it, but the children notice it. Y'all ain't gonna be, let me just teach y'all a quick class on uh, parenting one-on-one. -on -one. Amen, somebody. I can't make all over one child and treat the other child like dirt. Come on, somebody. If one got in trouble, I got him a lawyer. If another one gets in trouble, I gotta get him a lawyer. Y'all ain't gonna say that to me. If one gets locked up in jail and I bail him out, if another one gets locked up, I gotta bail him out too. Because I don't want none of my children when you did it for him, you know, you don't love me like you love him. Now, y'all ain't gonna say nothing to me. You gotta treat it all the same way. And simply don't have to straight no division in your house. That was, that was, that was parenting one on one. And so my brothers and sisters, the Bible says in Genesis the 27th chapter, verses 1 through 29, that Isaac called his eldest son to his bed and, and he spoke to him about growing old and that he did not know how much longer he would be living. So he told Esau to please go out and hunt some venison and bring it back and make him some savory meat and bring it in to me and fix it just the way that I love it and I will bless thee before I die. Amen. And so Rebecca, she was eavesdropping in on that conversation. She overheard the conversation and went and told Jacob what she heard and told him to go to the flock and get two kids and of goats, excuse me, and I will make it like your father loves it. And you'll take it to your father and he will bless thee before his death. Uh, this is another son she's talking to now. Amen. She set up this division. Amen. Jacob told his mother, my brother is a hairy man and I am smooth. My father will 
would feel me and, and it would seem like I'm deceiving him and I would be cursed upon my life instead of being blessed. His mother said to him, upon me be thy curse. Only obey my voice and go get the goats like I said. I told y'all she was the one that caused all this division in the house because she wanted him to be blessed. Her favorite child to be blessed. She wanted him to have the blessing. Do I have anybody in here amen that knows when God say you bless, you bless. Yeah. And when God say you curse, you curse. Yeah. And so here, ain't this a trip? Ain't this a trip? Rebecca, it was Rebecca that had the plan of deceit because Jacob was her favorite boy. Her favorite boy. I don't know what it was. The boys were twins. Now the boys were fighting even in the mama's womb. Amen. Uh, one had one by the heel before they even came out. In other words, you ain't going out before me. I'm pulling you back so I can go out first. Uh, so she uh, orchestrated all this division. She loved Jacob so much that she deceived her own husband. Mm -hmm. A plan of deceit always has an originator. Uh, don't you sit up here like Flip Wilson all the time talking about the devil made me do it. Nah, nah, nah. A whole lot of times the devil ain't made us do nothing. We've done it all our own because we desire to do it. Our flesh said do it. Our eyes liked it. We wanted to taste it. We wanted to experience it. We wanted to get into it for ourselves, sit up here and act like you all super saved and sanctimonious and righteous and religious if you want to, but a whole lot of deceit came from your heart that is desperately wicked, y'all ain't gonna be real with me up in here, I see, so I just preach to myself, amen, so a plan of deceit always has an originator, you must be careful who you listen to, uh -huh. Rebecca even dressed Jacob in Esau's clothes to deceive her husband. Somebody said, that's a shame, that's a shame, amen, how she played this thing. She even dressed him in his, bro his brother's clothes to deceive her husband. And so Jacob's duty was to carry out the plan. You better carry it out because I want you to have the blessing, amen. So Jacob's deceit caused him to lie. It, it, it caused him to trick his daddy. Ah, ah, look at somebody and say, I love you, but I ain't lying for you. You cool, I like you, um, we can hang, we can go to dinner, we can go to breakfast, but I ain't lying for you, I ain't lying for you, amen. I don't know about y'all, but even if I feel a deceitful spirit in me, if I tell a little white lie, ain't no such thing anyway, amen, I'm condemned, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Some of y'all folk can just lie and deceive and don't have no condemnation, no spiritual remorse, can just, just some people in here, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you're lying to yourself right now. I didn't think I was going to get no amens right there. Lying to yourself right now, amen, but the devil is a liar. You got to watch it because when you lie and you deceive, the Bible says you just like your daddy. The devil, the father of lies. Yeah, 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 I'm telling y'all the truth up in here. Are y'all tweeting my message over there? Amen. Come on, somebody. And so Jacob's duty was to carry out the plan. Amen. I want you to understand that your decisions will affect you the rest of your life. We was talking about that in Bible study. I was telling them it's a shame uh, when somebody does something wrong and they do their time and they go to jail and they pay their debt to society. Uh, if I paid my debt then uh, 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 my, 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 my slate ought to be wiped clean. Amen. If I paid my debt if you said I got 10 years and I do my 10 years, when I come out of jail then my slate should be wiped clean. And if I get in trouble again my, 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 my felony should not come up that I did 10 years ago because I paid my debt to society. Y'all ain't saying that that's how backwards the devil is. But how many know that when God washed us in his blood he said case dismissed Satan by grace. He don't bring my stuff up. He throws it in the sea of forgetfulness to remember it no more. Fire as the east is from the west. But some church folk want to sit up and bring up everybody's past except your own past. But I just rose to tell somebody that we all sin and come short of the glory of God. And ain't no way the devil can trick me into believing I am what I did. The devil is a liar. I am not what I did. I'm a child. Somebody ought to holler in the audience, I'm not what I did. Yes, I made a mistake. Yes, I failed. Yes, I faltered. Yes, I did not please God all the time. But I'm not what I did. I'm a new creature in Christ. Clap those hands. 
and give God a praise. I feel my help on the way here. And so he had the seer from birth he was. He sowed seeds into, this, into deceit. He reaped his entire life in deceit. Amen. Sometimes you think you're deceiving others, but really you're the one being deceived. And you're deceiving yourself. Some of y'all call it con man and con woman and a great con. And that ain't nothing but deceit. Do I have a witness here? And so Isaac delivers the destiny of Esau, the eldest brother, the eldest son to Jacob. He said, blessed are those who bless you and curse are those who curse you. This was the same blessing that Isaac received from Abraham and that Abraham received from God. Don't let the devil steal from you what God has for your destiny. Is there anybody in here as I heard along that can say, I know where God has taken me? I wish I had a witness up in here. There's some things that I wanted to do in life that I thought was my destiny. But instead of me doing the things I wanted to do, I ended up following what God wanted me to do. That's the reason I'm standing before you right now. Because I had to tap into what God wanted me to do. It was a fight. It was a fight. I was called to preach three and a half years before I preached my first sermon. Because I did not want to stand before the people of God and call myself a preacher but God kept on kept on pulling me and tugging me and chasing me and getting me and taking me through things finally I threw up my hands and said here I am God I run no more you got me I want to sing I want to make reward, make Grammy rewards and all that kind of stuff and gold albums and travel the world singing using my vocal voice amen not preaching singing. I was running at that time with some of gospel's greatest, thinking I'm well on my way. Some of gospel's greatest wanted to sign my group to contracts but the people we were in contract with would not let us go. One producer from RCA Records called. In fact, he came to town and offered us $150,000 budget. He said, I'm going to make y'all so fine on the front of your record that the women are going to pick it up and I'm not going to tell y'all what else he said after that. Oh, but I said my destiny, my destiny. We on our way. Oh, but then one night, we had a two night gig here in Indianapolis. The ambassadors, Shirley Caesar, James Cleveland, the Williams brothers and a few others. It was a two night gig at the Coliseum. The first night we did, we didn't do so good, I must admit. Oh, that very same night, one of the Members called and said, Don, I quit. I said, You what? He said, I quit. I said, We got to do tomorrow night. You can quit after that. He said, I'm not going back tomorrow night. I quit. Y'all ain't talking to me. At the same time, we're talking to Walter Hawkins about producing us and different ones. Come on, somebody, talk to me. I'm thinking my destiny is finally coming into fruition. But one member said, I quit. I can't take no more. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? It was God way of breaking us up to do what he has called us to do. Every last one of us are pastors now. We were evangelists before we became pastors. We can still get together and sing. We can still record if we want to. But I'm glad sometimes Brother Jimmy God will take you through some things to tap you in to his destiny. Y'all ain't talking to me. The devil was trying to deceive me and deceive us into thinking man and you are singer. This is what you need to do. And I gotta be real with you. Sometimes on the road we wouldn't so say. We were so holy. A man and the devil liked it like that. He liked us uh, ducking and diving and slipping and sliding. But now that God has my real attention, I can stand here today and say I'm tapped in to my destiny. Do I have anybody here that can say you're tapped in now to your destiny? I feel my help on the way here. Just lean on a neighbor and tell them don't be deceived. Don't let the devil deceive.
see you. Tap into your destiny. Clap your hands and say, say yes, Lord. And so I ain't nigga. Delivers the destiny to Esau. And so in the 29th chapter of Genesis, Jacob goes to work. For his uncle Laban, he falls in love with Laban's daughter. He falls in love with Rachel. He works seven years for her to be his wife. His labor is now over. And it was at that time he's supposed to reap her. Laban delivered her, the oldest daughter, Leah, instead of Rachel. There it is again, that's deception, deceiving. And Jacob has to work another seven years to receive Rachel because the oldest had to go before the youngest. Uncle Laban could have told him that in the first place, but he deceived him. Laban deceived Jacob. The deceiver was deceived now. The seed of deception that he sowed was the harvest of the seat that he received. Let's look at a neighbor for me and tell him you're going to reap what you sold. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Tell another neighbor that was the wrong one. Tell him you're going to reap what you have sown. If you sown the seat, eventually it's coming back to you. If you sown jealousy, eventually it's coming back to you. If you sown hatred, eventually it's coming back to you. Y'all sitting there quiet. You need to say amen so you won't look like you're guilty. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If you sown hatred, is coming back to you. Travel with me. As I get ready to close, I got to hit the road. The Genesis in the 32nd chapter verse 24 we find Jacob there alone wrestling with a man until the morning time until the breaking of day Jacob dealt with a crippling blow in 25 verse 25 his thigh was knocked out of joint in verse 26 Jacob decided he's still not going to let go until you bless me. I can't let you go, God. Until my blessing comes. Sometimes we quit so quick. We quit so easily. We give up too fast. Just lean on a neighbor and tell that neighbor, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare throw in the top. In verse 28, Jacob's destiny is now revealed. I feel my help. Let's go. It's now revealed. Jacob the deceiver, he gets a name change. Just look at a neighbor and tell the neighbor. Jacob knows how to change your name. Y'all ain't here. I'm not the person I used to be. I might have the same name, but he changed my name to salvation. He changed my name to glory. He changed my name to son. He knows how to change your name. He told him his name is now Israel, the prince with God. Sometimes it takes a name change. And I just rose to tell you that one encounter with God can change your name and can change your life. Am I in the right set here? I said one encounter with God can change your name and can change your life. God changed Abram to Abraham made him father of many nations. Jacob to Israel, Simon became Peter, Saul became Paul, it just ain't no name change, it's an encounter with God, is there anybody in the house of God today that knows he changed your name and he changed your life, we used to sing a song years ago, I told Jesus it'll be alright, Change my name. Y'all ain't hear me. Why? Y'all the one that sings.
sings, my name is Victory. Y'all ain't singing it now. Is there anybody here that knows it changed your mind? And so Jacob, he taps in now to his destiny, the revelation of who he was supposed to be instead of who he was. Jacob decided to hold on to God until God changed his circumstance. And I get a road to tell somebody it does not matter who tries to take what God has for you. God should be alive. That's it for you. Have I got a witness in the house of God today? I don't know what the devil is trying to deceive you. I can't tell you. Now help me, brother. God is trying to take you. But God told me to tell somebody, don't be deceived out of your destiny. What God wants for me, it is for me. I speak over your life today. Greatest blessing, huh? Have I got a witness? Huh? Is there anybody huh? in the house today huh? that wants what God huh? said in the old? Lift your voice, huh? lift your hands, huh? and say, Lord, huh? any way you choose, huh? bless me. Huh? I won't be satisfied. Huh? Lean on the neighbor, huh? tell that neighbor, huh? you got to know. Of God, let God speak, let God deliver, don't let mama, don't let daddy, don't let friends, don't let foe change your destiny. Somebody need to start walking into your season. Let the devil know it's my time, it's my season. Some steps and step by faith. It's my seal. What God has for me is coming to pass. If I hold on and do my long, that's the reason they told you that they that wait upon the Lord shall do that thing. That mount up on Peter's eagle. Open your mouth and praise it. Come on, boy, I'm moving now. Open your mouth and praise it. 